continuing with the thread of position groups, let's get into mm, the defensive line. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The League. Your host is always Harley Dugan. Let's get into the defensive line, which arguably if no actually no not arguably it was the worst position group last year for the Houston Texans I understand Jerry Hughes had a what was a shocking kind of year for me I did not expect him to get uh, the kind of season that he did under Lovey Smith I didn't expect that so with him still on this team I think it's some much needed veteran leadership in that defensive uh, ends group especially with the addition of the number three overall pick, Will Anderson. And that's what gets you giddy when you talk about the defensive line. Overall, last year, let's harp on to it real quick. It was the worst defensive line in football. It was the worst interior defensive line in football as we had the worst rushing uh, defense in the NFL, giving up 5.7 yards a carry. That is not good. When the running back is averaging about six yards a carry, you really only got to average two downs of a run game, and that's 12 yards right there, and boom, you got yourself a first down. The Texas defense last year was horrid, okay, putrid, until like the red zone where they had some good numbers. The defensive line was disgusting, and we should have known this going into the year with Roy Lopez and Kurt Heinisch basically as your two guys going to be stuffing the run, and that is not a recipe for baking cookies. It's a recipe for disaster. The Houston Texans should have known this, and I thought that was poor roster mismanagement. Now you go into this year with the whole offseason encompassing into it. All together, the Houston Texans, we know, added Sheldon Rankins, which is a huge boost to that interior defensive line. You still have Malik Collins. You got Roy Lopez. You got Kurt Heinish. Guys that are no longer starters in terms of run defense are now backups or going to be second string at times. Malik Collins is, you know, more suited for pass rushing ability, not so much his run stuffing ability. He could do it, but it's not consistent as compared to a Sheldon Rankins. Also signing Hassan Ridgeway from the 49ers gives you that much needed uh, cohesion. He came from the 49ers. He knows the defense. He likes the Miko apparently. Let's get that working together and throw him into the mix for the depth chart. So now that pushes Roy and Heinish back a bit. I'm going to move Ridgeway into that second guy stuffing the run. You look at the defensive ends right now. You still have Jerry Hughes. You don't have Mario Addison no more. He's gone. But Jonathan Grenard should be back this year healthy. That was a big issue for him last year was his health. And then we won't get into Chase Winovich. I don't care about him. And then and then, let's get into it. The number three overall pick, the Terminator, Will Anderson. If that doesn't get you a little shimmy, if that don't get you excited, if that don't get the veins pumping, the darn things pecking, the nipples hard. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Does not matter. Will Anderson is that dude. He is the best prospect in this draft. You got him at number three. You traded up for him. We all know the story. Adding him to this defense, a guy that D'Amico Ryans wanted, a guy that is a blue, it will be, will be a blue chip edge rusher for you. He had 17 sacks last year. He's a Nagurski winner. He was double teamed a lot last year and still ended up with seven and a half sacks, I believe. Six sacks his first year. The dude is legit. He rivals the same numbers as Miles, not Miles Garrett, but Nick Bosa, who was a top guy from the 49ers. All this is being said that the Houston Texans drastically improved across the defensive line. It should be night and day from last year, and the addition of Will Anderson is a game changer for this Texans defense. Watch out this year, boys. D'Amico Ryans and company, they could be doing some big things this year. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.